cardiac elective physiology is a subspecialty cardiology that uh, deals with uh, arrhythmia problems. And basically we're into the electrical system because that's really how the impulse is propagated. And that's what uh, basic elective physiology is because uh, it's all impulse propagation. Depending what your problem is, uh, basically for a treatment procedure, so either we do a defibrillator or pacemaker implant. Otherwise, we'll do a study or an ablation where we put catheters into the heart and look at the electrical system and see, uh, try to induce any arrhythmia or any uh, problems. Depending on what the mechanism of arrhythmia is, we'll be able to map this uh, with the catheters inside the heart. We put catheters from the groin and they go up from the vein all the way up here to the right atrium, which is the emptying chamber. We put catheters from there, right atrium, the right ventricle, which is the right lower chamber, and going here. Uh, so the normal conduction system of the heart starts from here, from the right atrium, and it propagates the AV node, and then down here to both lower chamber. These two are the, are the main pumping chambers. And for atrial fibrillation, the most common trigger is from the left top chamber, so instead of starting from here, which is about 60 to 100 beats a minute, in atrial fibrillation, the stop chamber beats for about 400, 600 beats a minute, which is irregular. And the trigger commonly comes from the vein that comes from the lungs, which commonly you'll have two. And that's why clot tends to form right here in the left top chamber. Most of these patients don't have symptoms, but most of them are controlled by medication, but sometimes they're just not controlled with medication that they send the patient to us. So that's when we offer further uh, management in terms of ablation or addition of some medication. The facilities that we have for our EP studies are on par with the uh, most academic centers in uh, here in the United States. We're able to do most complex procedures that's uh, available to uh, most tertiary centers.